Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So in this video, as you understand, I'm going to tell you about how the you know actual allotment of first round will happen, right? And this will depend on a lot of factors. So basically, you know, if you start with, you know, if you see in this flow chart, right, you will find the first is special category. Special categories are basically physically handicapped or the NCC cadets or the sports category students. So I'll tell how the allotment will happen. And then all eligible candidates, right, which can be from SC, ST, Category 1, OBC, and general merit ca candidates and rest of the students, right, so which is in the center of this flowchart. And the third is the order of allotment, which is depending on, uh, you know, preference, right. So they give first allot seats to medical, dental, ISMH is nothing but Indian system of medicines and homeopathy. The third preference is engineering, fourth preference is architecture, fifth is pharma science, and sixth is B pharma, seventh is pharma D. This is because there are a lot of students who will be applying for more than one type of courses. So your option entry can include courses from engineering, one or two options, then one or two options from architecture and you can also put few options from the B Pharma uh, colleges courses, right? So that's why this order is decided. Now. Uh, uh, it is going to happen in the same order you as i said right first the allotment of seat will happen to physically handy disabled candidates then to ncc candidates then to sports candidates and then it will go to medical dental ismh engineering architecture uh, and farm sciences and last to uh, you know b pharma and others right as i explained in the previous slide also so let's see the detailed version of it so as I said, once the last date of is fixed for the entry options, right, and your option entry is completed, and based on that, government will release the seat matrix. In the seat matrix, you can see the how many seats are available to grab in the first round of counseling, right, and that will be provided as per the reservation policy. So, as I mentioned, the computer will begin allotment from special category seats, right. So, the within the special category itself, it will first allocate the seat to Point number 8 to A is that physically disabled people will be allotted seats first of all before anybody gets allotted. And 3% of all seats in the government aided, unaided, private type of medical, engineering, architecture, farm sciences, every course is reserved only for the physically disabled students. So 3% of seats reserved for them and they will be first allot getting allotment. So first will be the computer will be allotting to disabled students. Now the next one, point number B. After the allotment to physically disabled students, seat allotment will then happen to NCC court, NCC candidates who are given given the preferences from 1 to 8, right? So they have the second importance in terms of seat allotment. So likewise, as we said in the previous two categories, the third preference will be given to now the students from the sports category. So preference 1 to 5 will be allotted first, right? And if they are a P students from SNQ quota, then first they will be checked against SNQ, SNQ quota. That means their income should be less than 6 lakhs. If their parents' income is less than 6 lakhs, they will be provided at a lower fees of SNQ. And if they are not getting SNQ seats, then they will be provided with the sports quota. So now for the general merit category, the general merit category will always be allotted seed in the general merit category only because they do not have any reservation quota. So this is very simple to understand. Now for the reserve category students, right? So you should always remember that the reservation category students, first their uh, rank will be considered for the allotment in the general merit category, right? So first the system computer will check that if a reserve category student is getting seat in a general merit seat, then they will allocate him the general merit seat. Most of the time it will not be true. He will he may, he may not get seat in general merit category. And then it will check for his reserve category, which could be his SC, ST, OBC and all right then uh, accordingly seat will be allocated now we will see the details of the point D that is meant for reserved Kannada medium student or the rural candidate category candidates so in these two categories right for the res reserved Kannada medium students or the rural category again the first allotment they will check with based on their ranks in the general merit category so if they are getting seat in the general merit category they will get this they will be allotted in general merit category most of the possibility it will not be available then they will be checked in their rural or the Canada medium uh, you know category and then they will be allocated seat if that is available so first preference will be always in the general merit category 
नाउ विल कम टू द पॉइंट नंबर ई विच इज फॉर हैदराबाद कर्नाटका रीजन और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल थ्री सेवेंटी वन जे एच के आर रीजन सो एच के आर रीजन स्टूडेंट्स विल ऑलवेज बी अलॉटेड सीट इन द एच के आर कैटेगरी दे विल नॉट बी अलॉटेड सीट रिजर्व फॉर द जनरल मेरिट कैटेगरी दैट इज द डिफरेंट सो इट इज लाइक अ जनरल मेरिट यू विल गेट अलॉटेड सीट इन योर ओन कैटेगरी दैट्स ऑल Now the point number F is for the special category, which are like a defense categories, ex defense, scout and guide, CAPF, ex CAPF, right? So in this category also, right, all the students will be first their rank will be checked by computer for the general merit seat. If general merit seat is available, they will be provided general merit seat. Then it will check for the reserve category seats, that is SC, ST, OBC. So this uh, defense personnel can be SC or ST O or OBC also. So they, the, after general merit checking, it will check for SC, ST. If they are SC, ST, then they will allot allotted seat in that category. If they are not uh, allotted seat in SC, ST category also, then it will check for the special category of uh, you know ex defense people or present defense people, right? so for any of this uh, you know reserve category or special reserve category which i have discussed you know always the seat will follow the process like you know first it will be checked checking with your, with your snq quota so that's so that your income is less than 6 lakhs if your income is 6 lakhs less than 6 lakhs you will get directly snq quota and this is applicable for general students also so general students whose father's salary is less than 6 lakh they can get the lesser fees snq quota seats then if you are not general then in that case it will first check the general category allotment if it is possible then only it will go to reservations that means then at last it will reserve provide you seats in reserve category or special category if it is available so that is a very important thing you know you should always remember that snq quota it has the first you know a priority then the general category seats and then the last will be your reservation category seats or the special category seats right that will be checked so this is the overall guideline i have wanted to cover with respect to the allotment preference and the for the first round of counseling and after the first round of counseling you will be asked to give your choices with respect to you want to accept it or reject it or you don't want to go for the next round depending on the what choices you feel right for that i have made another video which you can check and thanks for watching and please do subscribe this channel to get similar updates